Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Microsoft Office 2007. This video will go through the overall basic layout of the Office programs and get you familiar with the new features and maybe better your knowledge of the general techniques used in this new version of Office. All Office 2007 programs are grouped within one folder within the start menu on your computer. The folder is normally called Microsoft Office. If you have a look you'll see such softwares as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Here's a little hint for you. If you like to use a particular software often, it is wise to create a shortcut button of that software and put it onto your desktop. Now students don't have access, access to do this, but staff can do this on their own personal work computers. So to do this, simply right click on the software's name, for example here Microsoft Word, send to, and desktop create shortcut. Now this will automatically create a shortcut on your desktop and simply double click on the icon to load the software. The 2007 Office package is very similar to the previous versions of Office, but there are some new features and a new look and I will discuss that in detail within this tutorial. If we open and look at Microsoft Word, starting at the top, the title bar is still there, but if you notice, the actual title has been centered rather than being placed on the left in previous versions. On the right hand of the title bar are the minimize, maximize and close buttons which are the same with most Microsoft and Windows programs. At the left hand of the toolbar are some new buttons. The round button with the Office logo is known as the Office button. When clicking the Office button it opens a menu which is very similar to the file menu in the previous versions. It has the new, open, save and other important commands, so do take some time to familiar yourself with these as these will probably be used a lot. You can also configure your options within the program options button at the bottom of the office button window. This option button is placed on all Office 2007 programs. Click on this button to load a collection of options to configure how Word works, looks and interacts with you. Again, take some time to familiar yourself with these options. Most are easy to understand, but once you know what is available, you will know where to go when the need arises. One new and main function I will talk about is the Quick Access Toolbar, which is located next to the Office button on the title bar. This toolbar is where you can place buttons for easy access to commands that you may use often, so you don't have to search through all the buttons in the ribbon. The ribbon I will discuss in detail later. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar has three buttons. They are the Save, undo and redo buttons. They are probably the most popular buttons used in Microsoft softwares and therefore Microsoft have placed them as a default. If you want to add a button to the quick access toolbar there are several ways to do this. One way is to go to the program options which is office button, word or excel options and selecting customize. A quick way is to click on the down arrow button next to the quick access toolbar itself. Then click on more commands which takes you to the customize window. On the right side of the customize window you will see the commands that are already on the toolbar and on the left side are the vast selection of commands that you can add. To add a command to your toolbar simply select one from the list on the left side, click on add which is between the two lists, click OK on the window and you will see the icon appear on the quick access toolbar. For example, if you're frequently emailing Word documents and you want to add the email command, simply click on email from the popular commands list and click add. When configuring your quick access toolbar, that toolbar will save for that software only and not others. This is because some of the softwares may not have the same commands. You'll have to set up each toolbar for each software manually. The next new feature with Office 2007 is the ribbon. The ribbon is a large selection of buttons at the top of the page and replaces the toolbar and the menu bar from previous versions. It's more like a giant toolbar but it's been divided up and hopefully be easier to choose commands to create and format your document. The ribbon consists of several tabs running across the top and each tab contains group of similar commands relating to the tab. For example, Word's Home tab has some basic commands like configuring your font, paragraph, styles and others. The Insert tab consists of commands for inserting various types of information such as tables, illustrations, links and others. 
Do take time to familiar yourself with the tabs in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. With Microsoft Excel, there's a great new tab called Formulas. It, is, it has a wonderful functions library where you can insert formulas to your spreadsheet. At the bottom of the window is the status bar, which shows you the status of the document you're working on. This also has been adapted from previous versions. On the right hand side of the status bar is a toolbar which consists of viewing configurations. Word's default view is on print layout, but you can go onto web, outline, or draft layout modes. One of my favorites is the full screen reading command next to the print layout command. It's very much like an advanced print preview function. This displays a full page layout of the document and will show multiple pages if you, if you configure it to do so. In this layout, several buttons will appear at the top of the page which are the save, print, a tools menu with several interesting tools to choose from, a highlight button which allows you to highlight text in your document. At the other end of the toolbar is a view option menu that allows you on how to change the document. For example, you can increase the size of the text on the page. Now this tool applies to this view only. It does not change the text size on the original document. Other view option tools will make changes to the original document if you configure it to. Now if you're confused by that statement, as mentioned before, that the full screen reading is more like an advanced print preview, but it would be ideal for checking students' work on screen, and also has the following tools within the options which would be beneficial like allow typing and track changes. You can enable or disable typing in this view with the allow typing command. You can also track any changes you make to a document with the track changes command. Try this out as this could help when reading students work in Microsoft Word and making changes for them. To do this, go to View Options, Track Changing Changes menu, Track Changes, and make sure that the tick is on Track Changes, and start to delete text and re-entering changed text. To disable it, follow the same procedure to enable it. To come out of the full screen reading view, click on Close, which is next to the View Options button, on the right hand side. Next to the view configuration buttons is the zoom slider which allows you to zoom in and out of your document by moving the slider or by clicking on the plus and minus buttons. When working on a document and you'd like to make some changes Office 2007 allows you to preview the changes before actually applying it with something called Live Preview. Many of the tools on Ribbon let you use Live Preview. For example, if we select some text and move our mouse over one of the Styles buttons, which is on the Home tab, the text you selected changes to the preview of that style. To apply that style to the text, simply click on the Style button and the style will apply. The Live Preview also works with the Font Color button where highlighting text Clicking on the font color button and placing your mouse over the colors shows the text in the color the mouse is hovering over. To apply that color, simply click on the color and it will be applied to the text permanently. Also, when selecting text, you may notice a faint box appear and when placing your cursor over it, it appears with font options. This is a great and easy function to make fast font changes. One last thing to know, if you don't want the ribbon constantly on screen and you'd like to treat it as the old menu bar, you can do this by right clicking on a clear area of the ribbon and selecting minimize the ribbon. Now the ribbon will appear when clicking on a tab and have more workspace. I hope this tutorial was useful, good luck and thank you very much.